Hi, everybody. First of all, I wish I didn't have to record a video for a vote of this magnitude, but the COVID-19 epidemic requires that we all employ physical distancing, and it's important as members of Congress that we practice what we preach. What we need during emergencies like this is remote voting. I've said many times that Congress is a 19th century institution operating in a 21st century world, and this is just the latest example of why we must bring the People's House into the modern era. But time is of the essence, and Americans need relief right now. I support leadership of both parties who recognize the need to pass this $2 trillion relief package as quickly as humanly possible. I'm also pleased that it already unanimously passed in the Senate, with support from everyone from Senator Bernie Sanders to Senator Ted Cruz, an unusual feat to say the very least. Everybody agrees the problem that we face is real, and it's getting worse by the day. Working people across the country are struggling, our country's medical professionals and first responders are overburdened, and almost every small business owner in America is worried about keeping the lights on. Just ask the owner of your favorite local restaurant. This is a dire situation. But help is on the way in the form of direct payments to American families, enhanced unemployment insurance, a $150 billion Marshall Plan for our nation's hospitals, and the largest small business forgivable loan initiative in our nation's history a $350 billion program designed to help businesses like the thousands in my district weather the storm. Now, mind you, this bill is not perfect, but it's inspiring to me that even in a time of great partisanship, we came together quickly and authentically to make it better. For my part, the original bill didn't provide enough controls, oversight, or accountability to ensure that American taxpayer dollars were being spent wisely and transparently. That's why I pushed for the inclusion of a special inspector general and a congressional oversight committee to ensure that your money is spent effectively and transparently. Challenging days certainly lie ahead, but help is on the way and we will get through this. My fellow Minnesotans and my fellow Americans are hardy people. We're survivors and we keep the faith. So hang in there everybody and remember, optimism is just as contagious as fear.